Hey, why don't we travel to Singapore for our next holiday? What's the then Singapore anyway? Is it even a country? Hmm, don't want, don't want. I'd much rather go to China for its rich Chinese culture and India for their Indian food, not Singapore. I've heard of Singapore. It's at the tip of the Malay Peninsula. My friend visited it last year and said that she absolutely enjoyed it. It's widely known for its multicultural way of life, having all three cultures in one stop. Singapore is known to many as a food heaven that is filled with mouth-watering dishes from countries all around the world. Hawker centres are peppered across the country, providing affordable food for everyone to enjoy. Today, we will be introducing the Mee Pop, which is a dish of Teochew origin that is popular among the locals. Yay! This is a bowl filled with clear soup. It represents Singapore as a small island surrounded by big bodies of water. Hence, it was only a small fishing village. The noodles are like the Johnson boats immigrants from surrounding countries took to make their way to Singapore in search of a better life. Just a spicy chilli, life was unbearable and hard for the immigrants, but they persevered on. Hence, many generations later, their descendants were privileged to enjoy a better quality of life because of their hard work. Therefore, they could afford luxuries like meat, which their forefathers only had during special occasions. The chopped spring onions are specks of green that show Singapore as a clean and green garden city that is envied by many for being a cultural melting pot. Its main races are the Chinese, Malays and Indians. As you walk along the streets of Chinatown, you will realize that it is a bustling tourist attraction that is also frequented by the locals. During the New Year, it is often decked out all in red. It was designed by the British to host the Chinese when they traveled to Singapore to minimize conflict between the races and allow the Chinese to have their own sense of belonging to their countrymen. As you can see, this area is still steeped in tradition and heritage. However, Surprisingly, in the heart of this diverse Chinese community is the most important temple for Singaporean Indians. Little India is an ethnic neighborhood found in Singapore that has Tamil cultural elements. As it is located along a river, it was attractive for raising cattle and trade in livestock is prominent in this area. Today, many traditional aspects of Indian culture is still around, like flower gallons, Teh Tarik, and temples. Quaint rustic shop houses line both sides of Arab Street. A sweet fragrance of burning spice wafts through the air as tourists casually stroll along the road. The endless number of shop houses is filling with lush carpets and fabrics as shopkeepers eagerly call upon passersby to check out their wares. This is the traditional center for Singapore's Muslim community. In 1959, majority of the country lived in slums and unhygienic living conditions. This made them breeding grounds for infectious diseases and fire hazards. Hence, HDB fled to form to provide affordable and clean housing for the people in landlocked Singapore. Today, more than 80% of the population stay in such flats. 
They have also evolved to become architectural marvels, with the pinnacle having won the 2010 Best Tall Building in Asia and Australia. The Sky Garden at Pinnacle is the world's longest at 500 meters in length. It boasts a magnificent bird's eye view of the city's landscape. Although it is only at $5, the view here rivals the one at the Sky Deck at MBS. Significant landmarks like the Pole Center and Financial Center can all be seen from here. Wish you were here! Wow!